Good morning, fellas. Happy Thursday. Thursday before the long break here. So, I didn't really have too much. I want to keep these meetings uh, short. And uh, so, I just wanted to let y'all know, I know we've talked to individually and as a group, some of the changes, getting ready for the growth of this year, you know, kind of our projections and what we're doing. And some of the things have changed as far as roles with Jeremy, with Jesse, uh, and things like that. Uh, my role hasn't changed. I'm still the estimator, so still rocking that out. And then as far as uh, the changes of, you know, we were going to purchase some of the purchasing that we were going to do. Uh, I got ahead of myself as far as uh, the future growth, you know, maybe a, a year ahead. And, you know, I'm kind of... Uh, that's kind of a thing for me. I, I think ahead, so a lot of times I'm I'm thinking about things that are a couple of years before it's time. Uh, but nothing is really going to change as far as the function. Uh, you know, as far as North Augusta getting it ready for a location, all the same things are going to happen. We're going to you know uh, focus on growth over there, uh, get Matthew ready to be the manager over there. Um, nothing's really going to change except for we're not going to have to spend the money to have the territory yet, um, and have the software, have the phone line, and things like that. So Jeremy did a great job at saving us tens of thousands of dollars for next year's growth, uh, which will have a great impact on our bottom line profit. Uh, so this will be the first year that we've, we've reached the economy of scale of a million dollars, and you know we'll talk more about that at our end of the year meeting, you know, as far as how we've done more detail about uh, economy of scale and things like that. But basically what it means, we've reached the point in which this business with its overhead will have an interesting profit, you know. So we got here over a million dollars. Um, getting there took a whole lot of investment of all the profit for several years in a row. Took us eight years to get to a million, um, which, you know, that's not really, um, you know, how fast you get there. Uh, it's not really the, the biggest, you know, deal we got here. Now what we're going we're gonna to make smart decisions uh, going forward. So nothing's really going to change with, with uh, North Augusta. We'll still have it as a, an official location. There will be a general manager in 2023. And then as far as getting ready for, for Aiken uh, for 2023 as well. So nothing really changed there. There's, if y'all hadn't noticed, there's a whole lot of change happening here at all times. Um, so, you know, I appreciate y'all rolling with it, um, and I hope from the outside, you know, looking at all the changes, it doesn't make us look like we don't know what we're doing. Uh, but to be completely honest with you, sometimes we don't know what we're doing, and we're figuring it out. You know, this is a this is a startup business. We just hit a million dollars, so this business is, you know, at at a uh, at an early age. So a whole lot of changes, a whole lot of figuring things out. What got us to a million? is not gonna get us to two to five million, and that's not, and getting two to five is not what's gonna get us to 20. So I'm always having to learn things, Jeremy's always having to learn things, and that's why you know, one of our values as far as always improve, oh, you know, good is not good enough, uh, because you have to gain knowledge to get to where you wanna go, you get to where you, you, to another stage, and then you gotta get more knowledge. So just wanna kinda highlight that being a startup of a company that has large growth aspirations, there's always going to be things changing. And that environment probably isn't going to be best for everybody. Um, but I just want y'all to know that all those changes, you know, of course we're going to make mistakes. Uh, but as far as the, the motive and the intentions behind it is to offer the best opportunities for our team and to get to that, you know, the, the goal is not changing. You know, get to 20 locations, provide great futures for uh, people that want to grow inside of our company. Uh, that's not changing how we get there and how we have to maneuver uh, obstacles and things like that could change. So that's all I had this morning. Cool. Dump oh, trailer. I need it Friday. Gonna take your normal setup Friday. I so just leave the dump trailer here Friday. That's all I ask. I will all, I will remind you tomorrow morning as well. Oh, Yesterday, um, Bailey had to buy some stuff. He also forgot a card. 
He has his own card, his own bank account, obviously. Next year, this is news to you. We're getting rid of all of the credit cards but two, and all the mowing teams are definitely going to have a gas. Everyone's going to have a gas card because it looks like we're going to save money on fuel with Circle K's rewards or a fuel program. But obviously, the dump is a place where you could use a card, but I think I can get a card on file there. Um, supplies i'll just have to have make sure we have all the supplies we need at all times in the shop um do you guys know of any other situations other than materials <coughs> the dump or oil stuff for the truck stuff for the equipment where you might need a credit card what's that Yeah, and that's why we'll keep. That's why we'll keep two. So that way, if it's raining and I'm on the computer, I'll say here, McKee, here, Chris, here's the credit cards. Go get, go you know, get this. But yeah. So you guys think as long as as long as I have all the supplies, we have cards on file at Stovall Site One, the dump, that we can uh, go without the cards. I'm good. Yeah, and there, I'm a, obviously the two we're keeping. Also for projects, there may be days that they, they get a credit card. But I'm also just trying to drive home the point next year, uh, there is gonna be no credit card for you to take. So you need to make sure, I need to make sure we have oil for everything. I know I asked you to go to AutoZone. You had to go two days in a row, unfortunately, for fluids. Um, but that is something that I will make sure by the time spring rolls around, we have multiples of all the oils, all the fluids, and so there is no stopping. But I just wanted to see if y'all had any concerns about not having a credit card. And we are gonna get a ice maker? We'd like, I'd like to, yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, I don't see how we wouldn't save money if we're spending $6,000 on ice. Um, yeah. <laughs> and an ice maker's two grand. I don't see how we wouldn't save money. Cool. And that'll that'll help you all if you um if you get fuel one afternoon on your way back and we have ice here and you bring everything you need, guess what? You just cut out the gas station in the morning. And so now instead of going in the morning, you go in the afternoons on your way back. So the ice maker will save us money and save y'all time. Cool. Anybody have anything they wanna question wise or just bring up any, any fun facts? For the yeah. Thursday meeting, he had something. Cool. Uh, I was just wondering, like, um, I know you said it took a while for us to profit, but I was wondering, like, how much will we profit this year? Ten to twenty thousand. Yeah. So about a one to one to two percent profit margin. <laughs> how much did we have last year? It was like three to five. Is it a three percent? Or like actual. Like the actual number, not percentage. Oh, I am not sure. We'll uh, have to look. I remember. I just uh, remember we said we like right. dealt out though. Yeah, yeah but we're, also, guys, what we're doing each year is we went from 400 to 700, from 700 to 1.1 million, and from 700 to 1.1 million, we changed an entire white truck, white trailer company to a yellow company with maybe two i think we added two setups or just one this year uh i think we added a couple yeah we added a couple because we bought the we bought the chevy uh yeah we bought the chevy we bought the uh ford yeah and we bought uh my truck you know, as far as you know if you're asking about thinking about the profit how how small it is uh we'll go over that in, in good detail as far as the end of the year the profit and loss where we spent the money but just to give you give you an idea as far as why economy of scale is so important and what the, we got stuff everywhere um is this specifically for today yeah. i mean the no, last the last thing i was going to talk about was um just how many how these five guys are going to be hopefully our our leaders next year and we're gonna have five more guys so um we'll there'll be double what we have in this room come april may of next year <clears throat> i plan on trying to hire people in march and april so that way when summer hits we're ready 
and this is what it looks like. One mowing team in North Augusta. He'll be solo until he grows to where he has a teammate. One project crew with two team members. Uh, four mowing crews, three solo. And at first it's gonna start out four solo, but uh, we know we're already gonna grow to one two-man mowing team and then one shrub team with two team members. So, and the way I see it is hopefully um, everyone gets three weeks a month doing this, one week a month doing that, uh, or it might look like a combination of three and one week here or one week there, something like that. So, I'll just raise the small part, and this will just be a snippet one if I want to keep this meeting at 15 minutes or under. I know Jeremy needs this for his contract, so we'll make it super small. So like Jeremy said, as far as like the growth uh, pattern of where we went, where we came from the past couple of years, 400,000 to 700,000, and that is, so that's almost 70% growth. Um, 700,000 to 1.1, that's over 60% over growth. Anytime you're growing at a higher rate than 10 to 20%, it requires a whole lot of cash. In our in our company, or in our industry, you know, anytime you grow that level, sixty three percent this year, four hundred and something thousand. That's basically two setups. So you got, uh, you know, you got equipment and things like that. We spent in the short of it, we spent one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for growth related purchases, uh, which is marketing, trucks, equipment, things of that nature. Um, Coupled with paying off close to sixty thousand, I think it was close to sixty thousand dollars in uh, debt. So we've got about we got forty five thousand dollars left of debt to pay this coming year. And as far as growing, uh, we are not wanting to grow at that level. So we're going to slow the growth, but we're at this uh, economy of scale, a little over a million dollars that if you operate your company at a 20% profit margin, right? And we're gonna do, we did 1.1 this year, doing 1.3 next year is a very slow growth, it's under 20%. So if you operate at one at $1.3 million, operate at 20% profit margin. And that's what we're aiming for, okay? You're, you're talking about $260,000. So then you start subtracting things overhead that is will take away directly from the profit. So this is a, a hypothetical uh, situation as far as the 20% profit margin, uh, because that's where the company, 20 to 25% is where the company uh, potential is. And then you look at things that are currently going on, whether it be you know buying a truck, uh, and equipment, things like that, and any overhead that's gonna take away from this year's profit. So. You know, go ahead and take forty-five thousand dollars because we're paying off uh, the rest of the debt. Once that debt's gone, we're no longer going to take on debt uh, that's not going to bring us a substantial return on our investment. So, and the forty-five thousand dollars there. Then you got all right. What are you going to spend in marketing this year? And I was telling you a little bit this morning about you know, Jeremy as the general manager of this company. His he is thank God he's in charge of the budget me I'm not a budget guy I look at growth and I'm like I will sell my second board son no, I'm just kidding, uh, for the growth uh, so I'm just ultra focused on growth but I, I lack the granular ability to sometimes look at look at my feet in front of me and say okay we're here at the economy of scale let's chill out let's get some profit so luckily Jeremy said hey man Let's, uh, let's focus on that profit, that's what we're here for. We got the $1 million mark to see what we can do. So we slashed uh, our growth goals, um, and it's only gonna impact our uh, gross growth by about $200,000. Like I said, 20% profit margin. 20% of $200,000 is only 40,000 as far as, uh, as profit. So 260, 45,000, uh, we uh, marketing budget. I was gonna spend forty or fifty k. Not gonna have to. There's twenty thousand dollars right there. And then we uh, 
reduce the equipment cost down to what, about 20,000? If we have to buy the second setup, what do we say? It's like 18 grand to set up? Yeah. So probably 36,000. Okay. We'll just, we'll just call it for you. Yeah, call it, because the ice maker. These are all the overhead purchases that you know we anticipate making. That's 85, that's 105. So that leaves us with $155,000 in profit. And if you take this number right here, that 45,000, $155,000 in profit, I've never seen. You know, that's great. At $1.3 million, that's a little over, that's probably about 12 to 13%. That's already higher than the industry average for our four hour um, for landscape, for lawn care. So, especially most people are saying, oh, you're predominantly maintenance. How are you even profiting like that? Well, it's systems, it's what Augusta has done for us, the pricing and paper performance. But at 155 is huge. You know, uh, I hadn't seen profit like that since, you know, we were all on a truck, me and Jeremy, and we made uh, I think a little less than Three hundred thousand, and or a little over three hundred thousand, and we profited sixty thousand. That was twenty percent. But I took all that, put it towards next year's growth. So um, this is what we're gonna get uh, once this is eliminated. Shoot, that right there is about four percent. So you can add that. Even if we didn't decide to grow the year after, stay at one point three, we would profit two hundred thousand dollars, and we probably wouldn't have to market. So that's what we got going on there. Um, and that's, that's, this is for this year or next year? Next year. This is, well, I say next, I say this year thinking you know, it's only two weeks away. Hmm. You talking about this right here? Yeah. Yeah, this is 2022. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this year we're, as far as profit, we're going to show it's 10 to 20, maybe 000. 10 to 20 thousand dollars. Yeah. We grossed uh, 1.1 <laughs> million. So yeah, of course those numbers are not exciting, um, but you can't look at it just on the face of comparing it to other companies at 1.1 that didn't have to get to 1.1 that year. You're not gonna get to 1.1 without spending a whole ton of money. Um, and so we did it and then we rest and we, we reap profits the next year. So. And I'll just say too, at least from what I can remember, I don't remember the actual amount, but I remember you kind of like doubling out Whenever we have like the exercise where you took like this amount of money and says where it all went, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll um, probably do that exercise again. So you know, you got the profit and loss, you got all the expenses, and labor, gas, shop, everything itemized. And so what I did is I I took uh, what was a dollar, a thousand dollars. Yeah. So I'm not gonna do that. The dollar would have to be. More than well, I think it was ten thousand. Oh, each dollar was ten thousand dollars. So we take monopoly money. It'll have every dollar in monopoly money is ten grand. I'll be gas. Chris will be labor. Cody would be materials. Matt would be insurance. Yeah, and then you guys would have your own category, and you would it just visualizes how much money goes to each one. As you start, if you started with a uh, hundred bucks, that's a million dollars. So you got a hundred dollar bills and you say, okay, this is what we did in sales this year. This hundred dollars represents that million. And then I say, okay, well here, McKeat is- uh, Marketing, give them five bills. Yeah, here's five, $5. That's $50,000 what we spent. Labor, I'll give you, um, that's not, yes, yeah, five bills. Labor, I'll give you 30, 33 bucks, 35 bucks. That's you know, $350,000 of labor all the way down to all the expenses and what's left over is profit. So we'll be left with a dollar mm. at the end of at the end of but a really good business as far as in our industry, 20% profit margin after everything is paid, you know, under salaries, uh, overhead, um, you don't want to be sustainable with, with what two dollars as far as that representation. Right. So yeah, that's what that's what business fights for. Like business doing extremely well, 20%, um, you know, you you put your money in the stock market, uh, not meme stocks, not cryptocurrency. If you put your money in the stock market for 20 years, your expected rate of return is eight to 10 percent. So, you know, small business, if you can, as far as like on our on, on, on 
my side of things looking at like why the heck would you do all that for such a, a small amount of money well it's two and a half times at the bare minimum uh, what you can expect you know the, the smartest financial advisors in the world to produce more risk but more reward I guess I guess what I was getting at is I'm pretty sure like our profit from last year like we close to double the actual um, how much we have kind of left over right this year yeah, based on what we had last year. I think so. So, I mean, if you want to look at it that way, like, sure, it's it's a small amount, but it doubled this year compared to yeah. what we're ending with last year. Yeah. So, what, that continues to snowball forward. And, and if that confuses you, it was like 3 to 5% last year, but it's more money this year on 1% because we're a bigger company. Yeah. So, do you all get, like, 10% of the 155 profit? Yeah. Next year? Well, like... Like theoretically, that's y'all. Y'all would take like ten percent. Yeah, Jeremy and I would uh, each take ten percent of this next year as a as a bonus. But it's gonna be a quarterly bonus, uh, just like yeah. whenever we get the debt paid off, uh, we will do ten uh, percent uh, to the team as well. Yeah, quarterly. But yeah, that's our incentive as far as growing the company. Um, that's how we structured it: ten percent a piece because our growth pattern. If, like, if that's all, if that's as big as we wanted to get, or let's just say we wanted to get here and in the next five years be at two million, but that's basically saying we're gonna kind of halt growth mode. We're gonna kick in our profits. Jeremy and I, he might still get the ten percent, but I would look at the rest of the biscuit and be like, well, I'm not trying to grow. Um, I'm gonna take that, and that's what, as far as being a business owner, that's your uh, prerogative. You know, not in like, you're like, why are you only taking 10%? The reason I'm only taking 10% is because I want to get to $20 million as fast as humanly possible. Um, and the only way to get there is to put all those profits back into the business for growth mode. So, that's... Investing in people. Investing in people. That's, that's how you get there. Yep. I mean, you know, we're not in the uh, robotics uh, <laughs> automation, so we definitely invest in people. That's why you know we created the the general manager role, uh, make it to where people can provide for themselves, look at it as a way to you know to go after their goals and provide for their future. And that's what Jeremy said: you invest in people, and then that's how you get that's how you get uh, to twenty million dollars. That's the only way we can get there. Um, you know, we can offer pretty daggum good pay, best pay around for the field uh, labor, and probably exist. You know, go from one to two million dollars in five years, reap, you know, immediately. Like instead of taking fifteen thousand dollars next year, I could take he take fifteen, he take fifteen, I give the field team, say I gave them fifteen, that's and I could take a hundred thousand dollars and be, you know, be super cool, super happy, uh, with the money, uh, but it wouldn't uh, fuel my uh, desire to uh, grow people and give them opportunity. Anybody got any questions about that? Nope. Anybody want to yell at us for uh, only having one percent profit? I don't want to yell, but no, uh, <laughs> I don't want to yell. No. Nothing to do with us. Just feel like scream and right. shout. Uh, right. Are you younger?